This is the Extreme Commuter Backpack from Moose. Mouse? Mo us? It's $249, comes in a 25 liter or an 18 liter version and opens up clamshell. It's air foam padded, rigid exterior is protective, but it's designed with these rounded corners so it doesn't look quite so much like a jetpack. There's a magnetic fidlock clip on the top flap, an excellent back panel, and lots of pockets. And in one of these pockets is our sponsor for today, Field Notes. I am so thrilled that these guys are the sponsor. Once there was this guy. Look at this. Named Aaron Draplin. 1956. Who collected vintage farmer's memo pads. Look at that thing. I mean, this is what they used to give you. You gotta see this film. I'll link to it in the description below, but here's the deal. A lot of people have seen Field Notes at this point, but vast majority of them, I think, don't know that it's an homage to the American farmer's memo pad. They're made from papers sourced and manufactured in the US. They're printed locally in Chicago. They're constantly releasing new editions, but they are for you to use. I don't know, there's just something really cool and really American about that, you know? Think about this stuff. That's what these things mean to me. They mean, you know, regular people working really hard. Here's my personal field notes that I've been using for the last three weeks goes perfectly in my pocket. So I think this thing has a very sleek look, actually. I think it works. This bag features blue sign materials, which I love, and a 500D nylon with a water-resistant TPU coating, YKK AquaGuard zippers, and Hypalon details like these on the sternum strap. And it fits my 16-inch MacBook Pro very nicely. More on that in a second. I think, I think this actually looks pretty good. I tend not to like really rigid, rocket packy kind of bags that have the structure so intact that there's no sort of set, it's just a box on your back. But I think they did a really good job, a surprisingly good job rounding these corners. And you know, the look itself I think is fine. It is what it was like to use that really made me pay attention to this bag. Water bottle pocket on the side does just about fit my 32 ounce Awala water bottle. You see this gusset right here? They are using such delicious materials. Not only on that water bottle gusset, but also on the inside pocketing and organization of the bag. It's just juicy, yummy stuff. I thought it was gonna be a drag to use, honestly, but first thing I noticed was these nice stiff padded straps and the sort of airflow on the back panel here. You also have a luggage pass-through, a decent magnet sternum strap, a pocket on the back here, which is goes all the way across, but it is so thin and tight to get into, which is normal for a pocket like that, but it was using this little flap. I tend not to like these sorts of closed down flappage, but I got used to this little move right here. Did you see that? Okay, it's just a little whomp, and then it just kind of leaves it up and out of the way. This I leave unzipped, like a lunchbox opening, so it ended up giving me a lot of access into the bag. And then it was this sort of like raw, dry material here on the outside. Not the Eddie Murphy raw sort of spicy, shiny looking thing over here, which is nice from a water resistance standpoint, but I loved this sort of drier, I don't know. This is just my favorite kind of material. So it was actually the use of this thing that surprised me again and again and again, with a couple exceptions. Number one, the quick access pocket here on the back is just, one of the, th it's like this has so much structure in it and it gets curved around. So no matter, no ma it's, it's always a little bit of a bummer to get into. You have to do this. There's this moment where you have to like push through to get your whole hand in. And then once it's in, you can grab what you're looking for. But I want this to be designed with a different opening. Honestly, that was the main 
issue. Like I mentioned, this sort of protective back pocket's hard to get into, I never used that. This little thin pocket right here, it's hard to get into, but it's like designed for just throwing your keys in. It's kind of nice to have a separate spot for that. I never used it. The only pocket I consistently accessed that was a little bit frustrating was this one. I was also surprised how nice this laptop pocket is, which I attribute to how far down this zipper goes. You can really quickly get it up and around, and then you've got like good access. This comes in and out so easily. Now, I tended, honestly, to just leave these around there, get my laptop in and out, because I'm using this slide drive thing. I will link to this below, cool. Guys just designed this. It's where my external hard drive clips on and then twists and like locks in. But it also ends up being a great handle for my laptop when I'm pulling it in and out of something like this. And there's some straps on the bottom here. Again, this material I really dig. I think it looks good. What do you think about this bag from Moose? Moas. In fact, this air foam that they talk about, listen to how they describe this on their website. This backpack features air foam, a non-Newtonian impact absorbing technology designed to protect larger tech devices from drop damage. It's made up of intelligent molecules that rush together upon impact, forming hydrogen bonds that temporarily break and consume significant amounts of energy that would otherwise impact your devices. What is a non newton Is there just a possibility for non-Newtonian things in the world? Hydrogen molecules that take a significant amount of energy to rush together to protect my gear. This feels at 250 plus bucks, like I'm not paying enough for this bag. These hydrogen molecules are working very hard. I had never experienced this company before. They're making a lot of Apple accessories and stuff. I haven't used those, I had never heard of them. But when this bag came, I thought I wasn't gonna like it, and then I really did, so check it out. Use my link in the description below. I'll see if I can get you a discount when you use that link. And it lets them know where you came from, which supports me. I appreciate you greatly. Thanks so much to Field Notes for supporting this video and me and my family. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I just loved this video. Look at this, just dude sitting around talking corn, man. That's pretty good. And then I mean, this is the best part of the book. I mean, the whole thing is just, it tells you handy note pocket with a shitty little arrow like you know just incredible i mean i kind of